Well, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. It's another review video, guys. And I am sorry for the wind noise, but it's kind of windy out here today. We're kind of in like this little prairie area, so a lot of wind out here, but, and I forgot to grab my mic. I have a mic for this kind of um, recording, but I didn't grab it, so sorry for the wind noise. But yeah, guys, I told you guys that we were gonna be doing a review on the good old Honda, and we are today, because I kind of posted the Grizzly one before the Honda one. Just because, I don't know, I wanted to make that one. It was a new four-wheeler, so I made it. And I never got around to making one for the Honda, so we're making it today. Excuse how it's pretty dirty, but I didn't really feel like washing it today. Especially when I'm going to go out and mudding anytime today or sometime tomorrow, so it's okay. But, um, yeah, today's going to be a good review video. I'm going to try, um, like the Grizzly, I'm going to give a lot of, like, my opinion. Then I'm going to try to give some stats about it, but... I don't, like, honestly, I don't know the horsepower of this. I don't, you can't really find out a lot about that. If you guys want to really dig deep into it and go look through, um, I'll look through Google and try to find it, go ahead. But I have not found it out of, I've looked through Google for a long time for horsepower and all those different specs for this four-wheeler, and I can't find it. So, if you guys want to, feel free to, but that's not going to be in this video. So, yeah, well, anyways, let's get right into it. Take me first of all we'll start with a few um little <clears throat> just specifications about this particular four-wheeler this is a 2004 um honda foreman 450 um it's the es model so it has electric shift instead of foot shifting and um yeah it's been a bulletproof four-wheeler and you know everybody says hondas are bulletproof they mean it guys like i didn't actually know i always just went off people's word before before i got this four-wheeler and I know, guys, from experience, I can tell you, these things are bulletproof. They, you just run them forever, and they're just, they're not going to do anything wrong for you. So, yeah, I mean, it's a great four-wheeler. It has aftermarket tires, obviously. It has 26-inch ITP mud light tires on it. Perfect for mud. All around, I love the tires. They're great. Um, <clears throat> but for the four-wheeler, it's got this custom box on the back. I did not do that. The previous owner did. And actually, the previous owner was the person who bought it brand new in 2004. So, kind of nice to know the whole story of it. But yeah, anyways, so they built it. It's just out of wood. <clears throat> and it's just got like these little hooks here. And it's got the back compartment and two side compartments. And it stores a lot. It's perfect for what I need. Only thing is that it doesn't, like the mud doesn't wash off super well from it. So, a little bit of a problem, but not that bad. And then like stickers on this thing. All the factory stickers nothing has came off they've all stayed on really well and um electric shift works perfect i've heard some people say either for the newer ones or even these that if, when the electric shift gets like wet sometimes it doesn't like to work but i've had no problems with that whatsoever it's always worked and then if you're wondering what this is this is not stock this is a um a <coughs> um, um it's underglow for it so it's just a button here and it turns on the underglow for just the front, just under the wheel wells, and then along the front through there. And it looks nice and um, at night, but it's just blue. And then, um, yeah, so for your buttons, you got the electric shift, kill switch, starter button, lights. You have two light buttons. You have on and off for lights, and then you have low and high beams for lights. And then your screen works great. Let me turn it on quick. So it just pretty much shows you, it shows you what gear you're in between neutral, reverse, or any of the five gears. It shows you your speed. It actually has a clock on here, which is just a little thing, but it's actually really nice. So then you can know what time it is. And then it's got your odometer and then buttons to change between the odometer and trip. And uh, what does this one do? I don't even remember. 
multiply between your hours and your clock, and then to change the time on it to make sure the time is right. And you just got your lights, first neutral, um, your overheating light, and your four-wheel drive light. And yep, and this is the four-wheel drive switch. There's no labeling. On some there might be, but this one didn't come with labeling. I don't know if that's just wore off or whatever, but yeah, that's four-wheel drive. And then yeah, pretty basic. Everything works really well, as I said. Um, and as I said, it is a 450. The only thing is that, like, obviously, when you run these through mud, like this one was, the engine doesn't stay that um, the same factory color. Now it's turned more like a red, and that doesn't come off. It's not rust, though, either. It's just from the mud sticking to the engine. And, um, I mean, yeah. The other really weird thing that I did not know um, before I had this four-wheeler was that it does not have brake lights. These lights turn on when you turn on the headlights, just as, like, the warning lights, but... When you push on the brake, there's no lights back here. So a little weird, but it's not really that big of a deal. Then the next little exterior thing is that it's got this little, excuse the license plate, but you pull this little latch off up here. You just pull that off and then this opens up. And it's a little storage compartment. Mine's really dirty just from mud and stuff, but I've got like my paperwork, a little tool set in there. And you can kind of put whatever you want. It's not waterproof, at least mine wasn't. Maybe it's supposed to come with a little rubber thing, but mine, has no rubber in there, so not waterproof, but yeah, it's pretty nice. But yeah, guys, really all I can say is that this thing has been a bulletproof and amazing machine. It honestly does really, really well in mud. Like, the tires definitely help, but in mud, it's just got a lot of, you shift it down to first gear, just got a lot of low-end torque, so you can just, you can get through a lot of mud at a slow speed. You're not going to be going as fast as those Can-Ams and stuff, but you can get through it just to be going a little slower. But I mean, yeah, I mean... It's bulletproof, it's rel It's completely reliable. It does great for just riding. It goes, the fastest like me and my friends have got this one to is close to 50. So they, they say that it'll go like 45, 47. I'm actually gonna say it goes faster than that because we've got the speedometer to say anywhere from 47 to 50 sometimes. So it's not slow, but it's, it's slower than some of the other four wheelers in this like 450 range. Yeah, I'd say 50 is kind of where it's going to top out. And I mean, yeah, it works so well, guys. I'm just going to play some clips here of like what, like some just different clips of it driving and all that kind of stuff. So you guys can just see how it performs, mud, trails, everything. And yeah, please um, like and subscribe. I have a lot of videos with this mudding and trail riding. And then now with the Grizzly and some other fun four-wheelers that we've had on the channel. So yeah, please subscribe, leave a like, comment down below if there's any other content that I missed for the four-wheeler that you think is important, and any other content you want to see in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys next time.